Hey, Becca, how you doing? I'm okay. I've got some friends that are having a hard time. Oh, so some friends that aren't okay? Yeah. yeah. Do you think you could help me out with yeah, what, what to say what, to them? What's going on? I, well, they got into an argument. They disagreed on something. Well, that happens. Yeah, and that was okay, but then my friend got really, really angry at their Ooh. friend, and it's just gotten worse and worse, and I don't know what to tell them. I feel like they're not going to be friends anymore. And I bet your friend that talked to you about it, they don't feel good about it either, no, do they? they feel no. just sick. Man, that is tough. When you get, you know, in an argument, it's tough. But when you get really angry, that's even tougher. Mm -hmm. But um, today, we've got a Bible story today from the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus talks about that very thing. He talks about anger and getting in arguments and, and how to deal with that. Oh, I'd love to hear some of so, that. Yeah, let's do that. I've got our Bible right here, and I brought my handy-dandy reading glasses so I can see it. So here's what Jesus said. He's talking to all those people that are sitting there listening to him. Uh, tell them really what it means to be a follower of Jesus and what it means to, to live like Jesus. And here's what he says about that very thing of anger and get, not getting along. Okay, let's hear it. All right, it's pretty tough, so be ready. Okay. He said, you have heard it said to our people long ago. He said, you've heard people say this, you must not murder anyone. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. I think we can all agree. Anyone who murders another will be judged, definitely. Because mm -hmm. that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But then here's where Jesus makes it really tough. He says, but I tell you, if you're angry with your brother or sister, you will be judged. He doesn't stop there. He says, and if you say bad things to your brother or sister, you'll be judged by the Jewish council, like the people in charge. Wow. And if you call your brother a fool or your sister a fool, you'll be in danger of the fire of hell. It's like Jesus is saying, getting angry is a pretty big deal. Wow. Um, so here's what he says, though, of how you do deal with that. Okay. He doesn't just leave us there saying, don't get angry. It's really bad because it can't get bad. And I've gotten angry at my brother and sister before. Well, here's what Jesus says we need to do when we get angry. Okay. So he says, when you offer your gift to God at the altar, that means like kind of when you're trying to worship God, when you're trying to pray, and you realize that your brother or sister has something, you've got a problem with them. You're angry with them. They're angry with you. They've got a problem. You need to, to stop that. You don't need to offer a gift to God. You don't need oh. to be spending time praying and worshiping. He doesn't mean just stop altogether. He says you need to stop. So you need to hit the pause hit button? Hit the pause button Oh, and go and make peace with them. And then you come back and you can worship God. Wow, it sounds like yeah. pausing what we think we're supposed to be doing and going and apologizing and, yeah. or giving forgiveness. Forgiveness, bringing peace to it. Oh. Here, and I've got actually, I know this surprise you, I've got an illustration about that. Awesome, I and think it, that'll help me And it might be better. a messy illustration, so even better. all the better. So let's start with this. Okay. This is a nice clear glass bowl because we can see bowl. it. So, and I've got some items over here, so... Here's what it is. Mm. This stuff right here, let's say this is an argument. Okay. Now, arguments aren't necessarily bad, but sometimes we disagree about stuff. So we got an argument, and we're having a problem with each other. Mm -hmm. So your friends, you know, something happened. Maybe somebody took something that they you know, wanted back, and they didn't get it back to them yet, or they broke a toy. And so they're having an argument. The problem is, is when you put a bunch of anger into that, mm. and you get angrier and angry. Maybe, you know, you ever stop and... You know, something happened, but you keep thinking about it. Oh, it just makes me angrier and angrier, angrier and angrier. And you stop and like you're, you know, going, they did that. And you get madder and madder. And it's like, maybe it, sometimes it starts as a small little argument. But because of anger, it does this. Are you ready? Yes. So when you add all that anger in, it starts to foam and get crazy. Whoa. And it it's bubbling and bubbling. And what you need to do is add some forgiveness and some love oh. and some peace and it calms it down, so then you can take care of it. Oh, my And it goodness. makes it simple. You know, you deal with it. So when we add anger to the situation. When you situation, add anger, that red anger to it, it makes it even worse. Yeah. And Jesus says, don't let that anger go crazy. Add forgiveness. Add peace. Go talk to them and work it out. And don't try to pretend that it's not there. Especially, you know, don't try to pretend when you go to worship God that, oh, I'm all good. When you're really angry, 
Yeah. So and you we know, need to take responsibility for when we need to ask for forgiveness yeah. too. Even if you're the one that caused the problem, you still need to go talk mm. to them and try to work it out and bring peace to calm it all down. So it doesn't just keep bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. Because if I hadn't added that peace, you know what would have happened? Would just, I believe that would have bubbled over and made a big mess. I think so too. Um, and you know, last and week, that's a mess is hard to clean up. It, messes aren't good. Yeah. Last week we kind of made a mess, and Mr. Meyer found it. So we had to clean up after Whoops. that. Um, well, you know, Becca, I think you could maybe use this and, and help your friends understand that so too. they need to work it out and, and and bring that anger down with some forgiveness, mm -hmm. some love, and peace. Yeah, yeah, and, and that you, can only come from Jesus. That can only come from Jesus, because you know. I don't know about you, but I've gotten pretty angry before, yeah. and it hasn't gone well. But every time that I get angry with someone, and i got a problem, when I go talk to them and we work it out, it usually ends up so much better and calm and peaceful. Look at that. Calm and peaceful. Yeah. No, no bubbling, bubbling over. over. No bubbling mm -hmm. over. So this week, we've got challenges for not just you kids, for your whole family about how to deal with some of that anger when we get upset with each other. Because... Angers in family, that's sometimes the hardest. When your brother mm -hmm. or your sister make you mad and you get in a fight, those are sometimes the hardest times to bring love and peace and forgiveness. So this week, some challenges in our attached material for you to work on that together. And, you know, we're never going to get it perfect. No. But with God's help, we're going to make a difference, I think, in not just so. your life, but in all your friends' lives and people you, you meet on the street even by how you deal with your anger. Mm -hmm. and how you treat people. Yeah, it sets an example for mm -hmm. who we're supposed to be when we follow Jesus. Yeah. Because, you know, how we treat people matters. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to pray for us because this is a hard, hard thing. Yeah. And then I'll let Becca close us out reminding you something that always <laughs> we want you to know. Let's talk to God. God, we confess that sometimes we get so angry with our friends and our family and people. And God, we ask you to help us with your spirit to to be calm, to bring peace, and especially, Father, to, to offer forgiveness when uh, we need to and to ask for forgiveness when we need to from other people and to not let that anger get so bad that it bubbles over, but that we can remember that you forgave us so we can forgive others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Scott. Right. Well, well, we'll see you guys next week. And just remember, when you serve others, you serve Jesus. All right. Bye. Bye. Ugh. Hey. Hey. Uh, did you taste the the Kool Aid earlier? It tastes. Is it is it red? It's, yeah, it's really bitter. Um, Becca, that's not Kool Aid. That's for our lesson example. <coughs> Might want to go drink some water. Okay. All right, Becca. Cool illustration. Mm -hmm. But I thought let's bring it up a notch. Yeah. So let's say the argument is a really big, a big argument and you're really fighting and you're really really angry hang on a minute i got this okay. <laughs> and it just Whoa! wants to bubble over you better add some forgiveness Let's, forgiveness peace more forgiveness more kindness peace, more love okay and okay. it's Thank you, Becca. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Becca, this it's is all from I think Jesus. we might need a little more forgiveness and peace, but yeah, I think you're out of it right now. It was it was a big argument, but it calmed down. Yep. We Maybe helped. you could try that at home. I bet your parents know the secret. Yeah. Hey, Becca. I think the punch on the table has turned a bit. You might want to dump it out. What's that, Meyer? What it punch? Tastes real good. I think Meyer drank our experiment. <laughs>